and moving average comes in various forms. A simple moving average is calculated based on the price over a number of periods, so whether that's days or bars or whatever the calculation you're using on the chart. So the quickest way for me to show this is to actually give you the example on the chart. So looking at the chart, we've obviously got a simple moving average formula already pasted in. This is represented as a blue line in this particular chart. I think I've actually set this to a 50 moving average, which is the, a, a very widely ranged moving average as a whole. And the general idea is when the price is trading below this moving average, we're expecting the price to carry on falling. When the price rises above this moving average, we're looking for the price to keep on rising. So in terms of formulas, the general idea is that if you take the number of periods on the closing prices and then divide those numbers by the number of bars slash days, you obviously get the moving average plot. That plot will keep on moving as you go, hence moving average. So in this particular instance, we've got 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 again gives us 10. Assuming that's 5 bars, we've obviously got a 2. This would actually plot a representation of the line at 2. So keeping things obviously very simple, the idea is to work with the trend and you can start adding and playing around with different levels of moving average. So again, this one's a 50. Another useful one that lots of people tend to use for the higher time frames in particular is a 200 moving average and a 200 day moving average kind of at that. So ultimately, by using the moving average to establish whether we're in an uptrend or a downtrend is the simplest form of a moving average. We'll go into some more complex moving average strategies and, and, and use cases later on. But for now, there's a simple walkthrough in terms of a moving average.